So we got a Samsung top load washer. And the issue with this is the display. When you hit start, it's just going in circles. So the LED that shows the time of your wash, um, it's just going in circles when you hit the start button. And the reason for that is because down here, this thing right here um, would normally move back. Um, you would see um, these grooves right here. Um, let me put this over here so you can see this. They will go into these grooves. So in other words, you know, this goes onto the back of your washer with a nut. Which I already took this off, and um, and like I said, once you take this the nut off, it just wiggle, just wiggle it out. It'll just come off. And the common issue with this is the my fault about that. But anyway, these tabs, this tab right here, and let me take this off because this is why this is out. This that shouldn't be out like that. Well, I, I tried to fix this earlier with some flex glue thought maybe that would hurt but that won't work for damn flex right off thanks for that flex glue but anyway <laughs> you can see like it's one here there's one here and it's one here and they go in here like this so in other words when this piece right here with this spring behind it when this piece sits back here I'm not going to put the, sh the spring on because it's going to push out. In other words, this sits right here. So when it goes into um, spin mode, this whole little unit right here, as you can see, it move this moves right here and it's over here. So this clutch system um, moves this plastic unit. And when this plastic unit turns, it'll turn this way. As you can see, it's got like a groove. It goes down and up. So it kind of raises, it, it kind of like goes in and it comes out. So when it comes out, this comes out like this and it connects to the grooves here so the tub can spin. Well, those pieces broke off. So what happens is this never gets to go back flush. So in other words, these pieces hold this unit in and I guess this cheap plastic that Samsung used, they eventually broke off. So what's happening is this piece is actually, it never gets to rotate down or whichever direction it's trying to go when it goes into spin mode. So that's why the unit is flashing the display because it can't figure out what's going on right here. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this off, take these off, I'm gonna drill me some holes on the back side of this right here. And each one, here, here, and here. Put some holes behind it, and I'm gonna get me a, some small screws, and I'm gonna screw through so it can just sit right here. I'm gonna sit right on each one. So therefore, whenever it rotates out, it'll just come out just enough where the screw will hold it, and then it'll go back in just where it needs to be at. So in other words, when this this piece right here, you can see there's a spring on it. When it flexes, when, it, when this ring spins, it pushes this out. So all of this comes out with it, but it doesn't allow it to come off. That's why those plastic pieces are there to keep it in place. And when it goes back, when this ring spins back, it pushes it back and those plastic pieces hold this piece back. Or by those plastic pieces missing, this wants to just stay out. And that's what's causing the malfunction. So that's what I'm about to do. And uh, as you can see here, I got my drill. Got a very small drill bit. And I'm gonna drill, you can see I'm gonna drill a hole through this plastic here. And I'm gonna put here. And I'm gonna put one over here. And then I'm gonna take a very small screw and I'm gonna just screw it in and just leave it right there. And therefore, that'll take the place of this cheap plastic 
that was sitting here, you know, because you can actually I buy this piece. Actually, they want you to buy this piece here, this ring, all of this is attached to this right here. You don't have to buy this. This comes off, but you will unscrew here, here, all the way around, as you can see. And then this whole piece comes as one unit. But I'm like, for some plastic, I could rig up something that'll work. Because if, if that plastic broke, I'm pretty sure the, the new one's going to eventually break too. So why not put something in there that I could screw in that will never come out and I won't have that issue again. So I'm going to update you guys what I got once I finish and I'll let you know. All right. So this is what I did. And I could have, I didn't have any smaller screws. So I'm kind of cracked on a little tip part of some on one of them, but that's fine. And basically this will go back in here like this. And so as you can see when it's in here like this, uh, in the spin, you see how it comes up? It comes up, it comes up some, it goes back down. So it, it, it doesn't spin too far. And then it just goes back down. And it keeps this piece inside right here. So let me let me let me give you a better demonstration. Um, let me find the spring. Uh, let me put the spring in right here. Put the spring on. Put this on here. Basically, put this on right here. hard to do this with one hand since it's got a spring behind it but pretty much anyway but you get the picture you see how the screws hold it from coming all the way out so when it engages in that and then when when the clutch needs to spin back it'll push it you know actually it'll, it'll push it all the way back in so the screws is what keeps that. Like I said, I'm doing this with one hand, but I'll put it together so you guys can get a better demonstration. All right. Now, to get a better demonstration of actually what I was trying to say, as you can see, the screws hold this. Um, so when this spins, you can see it lets it out and then it lets it back in. So it lets it out. And then it engages into that. And then you know your motor spins, spins the tub, and voila. So basically that's it. Now let's back, put this on. I gotta do is put this on top, on, on back over here. Uh, do this with one hand here. So, oh, actually, let me take that back. I gotta put this back on. I took this off so I can drill the screws into that piece. So you pretty much get the logistics of that. Put this back on, put that back on. This just disconnects from right here. You see the connections. It's pretty simple. And um, that's it. And you're done. All right. So hopefully this fixes whoever has this issue and I will catch you on the next one. And please, please subscribe. Thank you very much.